गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज ऑफ आवर कोर्स द कोर्स नंबर इज एग्रो थ्री सिक्स वन टू दिस द एक्सरसाइज नंबर सेवन एंड एट टाइटल ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज इज सॉइल फर्टिलिटी मैप बाय जी आई एस एंड एक्सरसाइज नंबर एट क्रिएशन ऑफ प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड मैनेजमेंट जोन बाय जी आई एस ओके फर्स्ट इज द एक्सरसाइज नंबर सेवन सॉइल फर्टिलिटी मैप बाय जी आई एस जी आई एस में जियो इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम रिकॉर्डेड जी आई एस और जियोग्राफिकल इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम द पर्पज फर्स्ट इज द पर्पज ऑफ सॉइल फर्टिलिटी मैप ओके फॉर टू मेक द अवेरनेस अमंग द फार्मर्स रिसर्चर्स प्लानर्स एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स रिगार्डिंग द बैलेंसड यूज ऑफ द फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रेंट मैनेजमेंट इन क्रॉप for higher and sustainable crop production okay by in, uh, the main aim or uh, main purpose of soil fertility map uh, by gis is uh, the balanced application of fertilizer to the different crops or integrated nutrient management for uh, getting the higher uh, crop yields and sustainable crop production the soil fertility maps are integral component of all major land evaluation okay in the soil fertility map all the Uh, land evaluation major land evaluations are included and land use plannings uh, the soil fertility map it includes the soil and land resource inventory reports soil survey reports it also gives the watershed reports uh, then fertility assessment uh, studies exclusive soil information system for consultancy services then environmental reports and industrial purposes okay these are the this uh, features which are included in soil fertility map okay then uh, see the steps involved in the preparation of soil fertility map how to prepare the soil fertility map it includes the three steps uh, required for the preparation of soil fertility map first that is the soil sample collection second one is soil analysis and third one is to create to create or to prepare the fertility map okay first see the Uh, first step uh, that is the uh, soil sample collection okay you have to collect the sample uh, from feed uh, the systematic and uh, scientific soil sampling procedure uh, is used the accuracy and utility of soil test result is influenced by the laboratory analysis but may be influenced even more by the quality and precision of soil sampling accuracy of that soil sample is depend on the quality and precision of uh, collecting the soil sample and it is also depend on the laboratory analysis okay you have to collect the soil sample from the field after collecting the soil sample the soil sample uh, and analyzed in a laboratories uh, a soil test is uh, the analysis of a soil sample to determine the nutrient and contaminant content composition and other characteristics such as acidity or ph level okay second step is to analyze the soil sample in the laboratory uh, after analyzing the soil sample it gives uh, it indicates uh, the how much quantity of nutrient which are present in that uh, soil uh, the nutrients like uh, available nitrogen phosphorus and potassium which are present in the soil it also indicate the soil ph and uh, soil uh, ec a soil test can determine the fertility or expected growth potential of the soil which indicates the nutrient deficiency it also indicate the which nutrient is highly available in the soil or which nutrient is absent in this soil there is nutrient deficiencies potential toxicities from excessive fertility and inhibition from the presence of non essential trace elements it also uh, analyze the micronutrient which are absent in the soil and then third steps uh, this is the last step that is the preparation of fertility maps uh, by collecting the uh, by our after soil sample analysis we have to prepare uh, or you have to create the soil fertility map by using the data given by the laboratory it includes the major functions are first that is the spatial indicators or limitation and potential of soil indispensable instruments for formulating establishing and maintaining site specific soil fertility programs a tool in farmer education and awareness campaign easy devices for predicting the behavioral pattern of soil these are the major functions for the preparation of soil fertility maps okay uh, this is the uh, map uh, of india uh, land use map of india same 
the soil fertility map of india okay uh, land use uh, this is the land use map of india the green portion the green color which indicates the forest area okay then yellow portion which indicates the arable land means cultivable land okay then brown uh, which indicates the non agricultural area this is the non agricultural area okay then light green color which indicates the plantation crops okay then pink color which indicate the grasses and orange color which indicates the unproductive land unproductive or uncultivable land okay this is the land use map of india and this is the soil fertility map of india uh, which is a uh, developed by uh, indian institute of soil science which is located at bhopal okay this is the soil fertility map it indicate the fertility status or uh, nutrient which are present in the soil district wise it indicates the soil fertility then uh, next exercise that is the exercise number 8 uh, the title of this exercise is creation of productivity and management zone by gis okay uh, you have to uh, creation of productivity and management zone by gis gis mean geographical information system or geo information system uh, first is the what are the management zone management zone means uh, the agronomist have attempted to avoid the limitations of unguided grid soil sampling by including other site characteristics when they develop the variable rate input strategies this include the quantitative qualitative historical factors some of which are relatively stable from year to year and some which are the, the dynamic so these are these factors uh, the management zone which includes or which indicates the quantitative qualitative historical factors okay uh, some factors which uh, changed or uh, stable uh, from year to year and some are dynamic how to develop the management zone management zone is developed uh, by using uh, three steps uh, th- uh, there is a simple three steps process for precision farmers wishing to move from a uniform rate to variable rate input strategies first strategy or first step that is the to start simple okay the typical speci- special data uh, which with which to start developing a management zone strategy which includes the grower na- knowledge bare soil photos first order soil survey maps fertility maps topographical maps uh, then ec maps etc use the special information that is the most readily available and represent the best balance between the cost and relationship to the crop yield which indicates the uh, or which uh, represent the uh, balance or uh, ba- relationship between the cost and crop yield in general the best quality information is quantitative densely or continuously sampled and represent site characteristics that are stable over time then second step there is the fine tune management zone this includes the dynamic and qualitative special layers uh, such as the multiple year yield maps okay crop canopy reflectance or temperatures high intensity soil survey maps grid or targeted soil sampling results geo reference crop and pest scouting reports and landscape relationship these are included in final tune management zone over time add information that further describe the patterns of yield variation within a field and third uh, step that is uh, to evaluate strategy effectiveness okay to evaluate the strategies uh, effectiveness the use on farm the use of on farm testing techniques such as the pioneer split planter comparison method to de- to develop or to evaluate, evaluate the performance of two management zone strategies preferably over a multiple site years it is a crucial to maintain a sound agronomic perspective when evaluating the performance of different management zone strategies the critically look for the primary yield limiting factors and for possible confounding effects be patient remember that no single strategy will be perfect every year okay in this step use the on farm testing techniques and it is a this uh, this step is crucial to maintain the sound agronomic perspective when you are selecting the performance of different management zone strategies 
Okay, these are the different uh, steps which are include to uh, include for the uh, which are required for the de uh, man development of management zone. Okay, f uh, first step that is the start a simple, uh, then uh, fine tune management zone which includes the yield maps, fertility maps, crop canopy reflectance map, survey maps, grids, etc. And third step that is to evaluate the strategy effectiveness. These are the different steps which are required for developing the management zone. Okay, this is the exercise number seven and eight. Soil uh, so exercise number seven is soil fertility map by GIS. Okay, and uh, exercise number eight that is the creation of productivity and management zone by GIS system. Okay, this is the whole information about uh, this two exercises. Okay, thank you.